Hey, it's Diamond Dish with Dee. That's me. I'm feeling sweets. Yep, we are just following the plan on our challenge day two and I'm feeling sweets. So when you feel sweets, you find a creative way to eat them. So Pound Dropper did all the work for me on her easy peanut butter crumb bars, I think they're called, or crumb cake bars, something like that. I will definitely have her recipe linked down below. I did do a two different things only because of what are the ingredients I had on hand and the things I changed up. Like she has the better than butter. I don't have better than butter. I have powdered peanut butter, so I reconstituted the same amount of peanut butter. So that was my only difference. And the chocolate chips are different that I used. So I'm not sure my points and her points are the same. I will give, well, you'll be able to see her points on her recipe and I will tell you what my points are on mine. And, um, and I did change up the milk. Well, she didn't have milk, she had water, so I put milk in because I needed to get rid of my cashew milk anyway. So I thought, and I just had a cup, so yeah, frugal, call me that. But I thought, how bad could it be with a little bit of cashew milk in there? Not gonna add any more points though, what the hell? So let's get started making these because Tim's coming home and he's my cake kid. Oh yeah, Timmy will eat cake any day, any time I give it to him and crumb cake and dump cake. I think his middle name is dump cake. Yeah, it's my sad life. I think my middle kid, my kid, my middle kid's middle name is dump cake. It should have been. So let's get started making these because I'm feeling it. So let's get to it. Let's get started on our pound dropper dessert because you know, if pound dropper makes it, I know I'm gonna like it. So first in our bowl, we have a sugar-free yellow cake mix. Pillsbury is the only one that I know of, but you might have one in your area. This is the one that I use. To that, we're going to put a quarter cup of brown sugar substitute. I'm using, this one happens to be Lakanto's brown sugar. It's fairly new. It is not their golden. Their golden is not brown sugar substitute. So they did come out with a traditional brown sugar substitute. You know my favorite is sucrin, but I wanted to try the Lakanto. I will say the Lakanto is my second favorite. Still, still going for my sucrin, it's the best. And three tablespoons of peanut butter. She uses the better than butter. I am choosing to use powdered peanut butter that I reconstituted. I know, I'm a little, this is a risk. Uh, this might not work, but you know, I thought, what the heck. I didn't have any better than butter, so I went with the reconstituted peanut butter. I could have put the peanut butter powder in and just added extra water, but yeah, you know, I'm following her directions. She says combine. She says it's going to be crumbly like sand. So you're making basically a crumb topping. So I'm going to combine this well. Okay, it is well combined. It looks like crumb mixture. It's just kind of like crummy, like sandy. So. She says, take a cup of that mixture out. So let's just grab a cup and just start putting some in here. Okay. Put it over here. That's the topping. So in our bowl with the rest of our mixture, we're going to put in three eggs. Now she says a cup of water. Now, truth be told, I have cashew milk I need to use up, so I'm opting for a cup of cashew milk. It's not gonna change the points. I'm hoping it just, you know, adds a little bit of something, something. So let's combine. I will tell you, this smells amazing. This vanilla cake mix, I think is amazing. I'm gonna combine this well. All right, our cake mix is combined with our milk. We're gonna, we have a 13 by nine spray with nonstick spray. If I didn't mention my oven is preheated at 350 degrees. We just pour this into the bottom. Get a better angle for you. Remember, this is not the Food Network. D is not a professional. So my angles are a little bit off <laughs> and she films herself. No camera person here. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, spread it evenly. All right. Then we have our reserved cup and we just sprinkle it on top. Okay. 
Again, doesn't have to be perfect. This is a crumb cake. I always like to add the corners and the edges, especially. This really smells good. Have I not said that already? Okay, we're not done yet. We're putting some chocolate chips. Now she uses a different brand than I use. I have 64 grams of Lily's chocolate chips. That is what I have in my recipe builder. She uses a different brand and sometimes she even says you could use peanut butter chips mixed with it. I didn't have those, so we're just gonna do some Lily's dark chocolate. Again, use what you have, use what you like. This is your cake. Make it your own. Like I used to decided to use milk. Yeah, why not? Let's just go on a limb here. Look at this even way. You know, there's gonna be more on some areas than there are on others. Like that. Look at this up here. Don't let there's nothing over here. Okay. Oh, there's some more. I missed. All right, we're going to put it in the oven and it's going to bake. I will let you know how long it baked when we come back and check it. All right, she baked for 22 minutes. I cannot begin to tell you how good it smells in here. Look at this. Oh my Lord. I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to cut it and talk points. <gasps> yeah, I know. It's a oh, pale dropper. I love you. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Alrighty, this is, you can cut your bars into any size and amount, amount of points you want to spend. I did 18 for a three point bar. I dusted it with a little extra peanut butter powder because that's how I roll. So let's taste it. And mind you, this is still warm because I couldn't wait. I know, I just use it. Mmm. <laughs> Really good. The peanut butter actually shines through, so if you don't have the better than butter, reconstitute your powdered peanut butter. That's what I did. I made it into a peanut butter before I used it. You could, I guess, put it in there dry and then add the water in there. I just, as you saw, it was peanut butter. So that is how I did it. So you can do anything with the ingredients you have. My chips are different, so my points might be different than pound droppers with the ingredients that I had on hand. But you can tweak anything you want with the right thought process. So that is it. I'm going to go finish this because, you know, I will say, need a glass of milk. I think a milk will go fabulous with this. Almond milk, of course. If you enjoy these videos, give them a thumbs up. If you like Pound Dropper, drop me a thumbs up. I love Pound Dropper myself. She is the bomb diggity. And I love, love, love her recipes. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Recipes like these are coming out of Dish With These Kitchen. You want to be on the lookout and get that notification bell hit so you can get notified when I upload fabulous stuff like this. I will dish with you another day, folks. I'm going to go finish my cake.